This time in the morning. Got to go somewhere. Oh yeah. Where? That's the tap off. No, I'm going out. I'm going to sign on. I don't know whether I'll be back for tea. Tell her. He can. What time did he say? Quarter to eight. Come. I don't reckon he has got hold of her, you know. I don't. I think them things have expired like Dikey said they would. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. He might not go all the way, but. Shut up. What, you lads? All right, right Rog? I was never up this early when we were at school. I was never up when we was at school. <laughs> yeah, half a star for you on afternoons. Bleeding where I was. Well, we better hadn't miss him now. Yeah, come on. Nah, plenty of time. <laughs> what you doing here? Don't wish you luck. Yeah, and I'll ask what time to bring the stretcher, like. What? <laughs> well, we'll take you home tonight. Well, as soon as you eat, you do us a favour. Yeah? Yeah, lend us a quid. <laughs> I've only got 50 pence. Well, that done. Cheers. You shouldn't get up so early in the morning, should you? Yeah. Best of luck, mate. Yeah, why should they stick you in a barrel and paint your knackers blue? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do now? I'm starving. Took will go down Alex to the dollar. Ugh. I thought of his coffee this time in the morning. You can have tea, then. <laughs> That's just diluted coffee. Come on. How do you reckon he'll get on, then? OK. What's he actually got to do, then, eh? Humping stuff about, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being paid for humping. Yeah, is that what they mean by being on the job, is it? Stretching <laughs> it a bit with that one, Sammy. <laughs> oh, what do you expect at 8 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, we'll give it a rest until you wake up. Shut up! <laughs> 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 Up early, aren't we, lads? School's on holiday, isn't it? We well, don't go to school. Why aren't you at work, then? Because we're on the dull. Even more reason to be in bed. What are you up to? We're not up to anything. We're just minding our own business. Uh, we've just been to see our mate start work. You what? He's been, he's been on the dull for a year. We thought we'd wish him luck. I suppose there's a law against that, is there? Turn your pockets out. What? Turn them out! You can either do it here or down the station. What's this here, then? They're contraceptives, you know, for stopping little bastards. Those boots got steel toe caps on. They're training shoes. What about me, uh, me what's it said? I hope your girlfriend isn't under 16. Can get. We know what they say. All coppers are constables. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, That's what gets me. Here, Alec, give us a slice of that black stuff you call toast. You got a belt around the air all then, man. Leave it out, Alec. The only belt you could give me would mean your trousers would fall down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I thought you didn't have any money. I never said that. You wouldn't lend Dyke any. Never get it back, that's why. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> why do you reckon they do it? Oh, leave it out, Rog. No, we weren't doing anything, were we? What did they have to come on heavy like that for? Look, if there were three bleeding nuns walking down the road, they wouldn't just leap out on them, would they? They probably wouldn't be carrying Johnny's either. How do you know? Anyway, what are you carrying around with you for? 
What do you expect me to do? I'm not going to leave them in my bedroom so my mum can find them. I don't even know where you've got them. <laughs> well, I'm not going to blow them up and use them as balloons, am I? Might as well. Today was the first time they'd be opened. Oh, cheers, Rose. Cheers, Rose. You didn't get these, did you? Now, here's your change. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Alec. I reckon you, could, you should be able to do them. Who? Coppers. I mean, there was no need for that aggravation. I could have understood it if it was late at night or something. They can't do you for sass at eight o'clock in the morning, can they? They can do anything they like, if they've got a mind to. <laughs> yeah, they can even do nuns. Do you reckon they would? I mean, deliberately stitch someone up. Nah, I don't reckon they'd do that. It's a bit of aggravation, maybe. Nothing really, is it? You get more of that at home. I won't bleed copper for anything. They <laughs> wouldn't bleed, have you? I imagine that under a copper's helmet. <laughs> nah, but you know what I mean. I mean, you can get done in any time, just for a few quid a week. It's worse than being a bleeding teacher. Oh, I'd rather be a copper than a teacher. The buggers would have to do what I said then. Yeah, that's why I often do it, like the army, for the aggro. Yeah. Do you remember that one who came up to school and gave us that talk on crime prevention and that? Oh, yeah, and <laughs> someone nicked his bike. Yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant, that was. Hey, what time is it open? Ten. What are we going to do later? Cheers, Alec. They look quite nice today. Don't mention it. They taste quite nice as well. <laughs> Have a slice. Home, you know. Have you told your mum? Yeah. What she say? What she always says. I'm too young. Why do I want to do it anyway? Where will I go? Well, where would you go? I don't know. London, I suppose. Oh, well, everyone goes there and comes back again. I just don't want to play, stay in this dump all my life. And what about Sean? What about Sean? Well, you can't just run off on him, can you? I'm not running off on him. I just said I'm fed up, that's all. Oh, you're always fed up. I'm just restless. Well, you weren't like this at school. We're not at school now, Jerry. <sighs> Sorry. It's just, Sean keeps saying he's not ready for a job. But I am. Well, you haven't got much choice around here, have you? Well, that's what I keep telling Mum. Well, we should be enjoying it, really. A couple of months of doing nothing. It's like being on holiday. Yeah, I know, Jerry, but with a holiday, you know when it's going to end, don't you? Oh, we'll survive. We always bloody do. How was our squid last night? Don't call him that. Have his tentacles thrashing, did he? They never stop. I was in a right state when I got in. Oh, yeah. Nothing happened. The right sly bugger, though. Do you know what he did? What? No. Come on, you're dying to tell me what. <laughs> well, he was trying to get... Hold on, let me get this right. He was trying to get his right hand and... Oh, no. Oh, come on, Jerry. All right. So he was trying with his right hand. Where was his left hand? I always keep that pinned against the wall of my back. <laughs> anyway, he's really strong, you know, and he sli starts sliding his hand up my side. <laughs> and I'm trying to stop him. So I lean forward to bring my right arm round to stop him, and that's what the bugger was waiting for. Why? Well, when I leant forward, it freed <laughs> his left hand, and he undid my bra strap. <laughs> so what did you do? I didn't know what to do. I couldn't do it up, could I? Although he did offer to help. Oh, of course. <laughs> so what happened then? My mum come home from bingo. And I went in with her. I had to keep my jumper pulled tight so she wouldn't notice, though. <laughs> well, nothing happened. You try telling her that. Doesn't Mr Tinnersley ever do that sort of thing? No, Sean's a gentleman. You mean he asked permission first? Of course. Oh. Anyway, I'd rather have Sean than Roger. Why? You don't get a minute's peace, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> Shut up, you love it. Of course I don't. Of course you I do. I do not. Yes, you do. I don't. <laughs> Jerry, there's a bus. Run for it, Jerry. Oh, I can't. If we miss it, we get another one. Look, Jerry, just run for it. Me. You know I've got my shoes on. Oh, come on, Jerry. It's oh, get on. on. Hang on. Terrific it was, right? Just as she leaned forward, 
I was in there, mate. Oh, you miserable bastard. Bloody brilliant, that is, Roger. You ought to get them to put it on your job card. Yeah, front... One old bra run do her. Yeah, front fasten is a speciality. <laughs> By appointment only. 50% off regular customers. Yeah, that's pushing it a bit. I don't know why we're really bothering. See what she's got up her sleeve for me. Oh, she won't keep it up there, sir. Oh, shut your trap. See where she keeps hers. Fancy a look to see what's going. Hey, the jobs you mean. What else? Hello, boy. Ow! Oh, sorry, I... I didn't know you, did I? Nothing you'd like me to rub better. No, it's all right. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's uh, a bit public here, isn't it? Don't want to get arrested, do we? What for? I could think of a few things. I bet you could. Do you, uh, come here often? Why, are you going to ask me for a dance or something? No, I was just wondering, you know. Nice face like yours. Nice. Well, you know, I, I thought you'd be a model or something. Full of compliments, aren't you? Oh, yeah. And bullshit, but then aren't we all? Like that murder's trying to get a job, you know. It's just... Did I hear you say goodbye? What? You're leaving. Am I? You obviously haven't read this morning's papers. I didn't know you could read. There was a fascinating article on how overstretched the National Health Service is. Yeah. Yeah. So they won't want to waste any time. Stitching you back together again. Oh, then. Leave that out, Lodge. If I was you, Unsworth, I wouldn't go get Mizzy for any new suits. You might not have to collect them. What was all that about? Dickhead keeping his brain between his legs. You're really stupid, you are, Roger. Aggies doesn't put the shits up me. He might not, but he'll knock seven shades of it out of you. I can take Aggies by himself. Yeah, he never is, though, is he? That's not the point. You're supposed to be going out with Jerry. I am. I didn't think so. I'll leave it out. She was begging for it, that one. Oh, piss off. She definitely fancied me, I tell you. Yeah, she looked like she had shit in her eyes. Don't try and tell me you'd have kicked her out of bed. I'm not saying that, am I? How do you think Jerry would have felt if she'd have seen you back there? Pissed off, probably. Yeah. Yeah, but what she don't know, don't hurt her. You bastard. I'll leave it out. What do you think, Sam? I think we should go in here and that you're a bastard. Oh, I have a word. Oh. oh, my God, I'm in a heart attack, then. Are you glad to see me? I think I'm fine. So you're going to see your sister? We are. I just want to get this first. Oh, more crap. What are you doing now? Oh, Sammy wants to get some more of his nigger music. Piss off. It's all right. What are you getting, Sam? I don't know yet. I'm just looking for a few of the impulse. See if there's anything I like. Listen, right, we've got to go. So I'll see you later. Yes, sir. I'll see you tonight. And I'm wearing a thicker sweater and all. Elmore James got nothing on this, baby. <laughs> See you, Jules. See you, Squid. <laughs> squid, I like you, boy. <laughs> Hit the nail right on the head. Christ. You lot ain't gonna be here every night, are you? Only till payday. When we can get back all that money you owe us. Stop it. Oh, I'm not bugging. Why, what you been doing? Filling boxes with bleeding bits of rubber, emptying them into beakers. Filling bleeding boxes and emptying the sub of things again. Sounds like a good laugh. Yeah, it's terrific. Here, do they make Johnny's in there? God knows. Right now, I don't give a bugger. All I want to do is go home and have a kid. You're not going down a cow tonight, then? Nah, not tonight. What? Don't feel like it, all right? You must be buggered. Must be the fumes or something. <laughs> Never mind, Dikey. 
Here, stand. Here, stand. Stand. End up being late. I'll have to go straight around my name. I'm sure I'm still waiting. It will be. <laughs> See, See you later. later. You have fun, and when you have Oh, God, you frightened me. I thought I was going to be mugged for a second now. You can never tell who's lurking around in these places. No, fix the lights. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, what's the rush? Oh, my what God. What are you for? I might have known. Hey, what's wrong? Didn't I realise? Hey, calm down a second. What is it? Look, we just got off the bus, right? I've, yeah. I've just been flashed. <sighs> oh, Sean, please! Shut up. Please don't, please, just leave it now. He's gone, you never find him, just leave it. Why didn't you let me have the bus? Don't be stupid. You okay now? It's just shock, that's all. I saw you down there. I should have come down to meet you. Look, nothing happened, all right? Yeah, it could have done, though. Well, it didn't. I could really do with a cigarette, though. Look, just one, considering what's happened. Just one? Look, I got you tonight. If you didn't smoke, you wouldn't have stopped to give him a light. Oh, come on. Threw my lighter at him. Go down to the angel and get a box of matches, okay? If you can last that long. You really care, don't you? What about? Me! Nothing else to do, have I? Can't afford a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he said he was naked, he wanted to go to bed. He's one of the workers now, you know. Yeah, but for how long? I think he'll stick it. Sammy. I'm just coming. Yeah, I wondered why you were standing like that. <laughs> it's a joke. Here, Jaws. Yeah, squid. Yeah, what's all this squid bit then, eh? Come on, what's going down between you two? Nothing. Yeah. Shit, one What was you going to say? Oh, yeah. You know this flasher bloke, right? You know when he pointed Percy at you? Right. What was it like? Roger! Oh, I was just wondering when I was in the bog, that's all. Yeah, we should keep your mind on the business in hand, Rog. <laughs> Come, let's go. Got your bags? Yep. Come on. <coughs> all right? Yeah. Good night. I was just wondering, that's all. What, would I recognise it if I saw it again, you mean? Leave it out with you, Rog. That's what he did. I was just curious. Well, I'd chop it off straight away, no messing about, no anaesthetic, nothing. Chunk. Yeah, but he's sick, isn't he? Well, that's what I mean. You can't have geezers like that walking about, can you? He'll be raping somebody next, one, not he? Yeah, I agree with Sammy. Yeah, but he might not even know he's doing it. Hey, that make any difference then, does it? What's up? That's him. What? Are you sure? John, no! Stop doing it! John! Oh, God! Oh, 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 Hold it, hold it. Get out of here. All right, all right. 
Tinnersley? You all right? It's not him you should ask. It's that poor fellow who's head they were using as a football. He deserved it. That's not for you to decide, lad. What's the score, then? You gonna charge him? Not this time. But watch it, right? What about, uh, the geezer? Oh, we'll get him sooner or later, don't worry. Bound to, uh, show himself again. Tell us that before, eh? Well, it's bloody typical, isn't it? Even when they let you off, they make you sweat for it. You stupid little sod. From what they told me on the phone, they could have banged you up for six months. I thought they were gonna until she told them what happened. That's for you. What did you think you were playing at? I just lost my temper. I'm having our job. Keep in mind now. Kathy, isn't it? Shouldn't you be in by now? Come on, then. I'll give you all a cup of tea and then I'll take you home. Go on, get inside. Go on. Mr. T. Yeah? If you're going to give us a lift home, you'll have to make one promise. What's that, then? That you keep your eyes shut when we say goodnight. At your age, we don't want to give you a heart attack. <laughs> Listen, Romeo, at my age, I've forgotten more about women than you're ever likely to learn. That sounds interesting. Uh... 